Hi, my name is Tommy Mello from Sim Specialists. In this short video, I'll prepare geometry of a building for an airflow analysis of its corner office space. The main strategy will be to create simulation specific geometry by referencing existing entities. I have a Revit file to start with here, but the overall methodology is valid for any CAD platform. Using the file directly in its current state for simulation wouldn't be optimal and probably wouldn't work. It also contains more details than I need to simulate the corner office zone. It's possible to modify the existing geometry, such as simplifying the definition of existing features, but there's a lot of geometry I'd have to do that with. I'd also have to resolve component intersections, trim walls, ceilings, and floors for an airtight space required for fluid volume creation. An airflow analysis, at a minimum, requires an airflow domain. So instead of modifying unnecessary components, I'm going to explicitly create the airflow volume. A simple extrusion will adequately capture the air volume of the space. The extrusion is created with a sketch that references the inner walls. To simulate air movement in the space, we'll need to define supplies and returns. Those can also be created with simple features that capture their size and location. I can now use this simple geometry that adequately captures the airspace supplies and returns to perform an airflow analysis. I hope this video has helped you understand a simple approach to idealizing geometry for simulation.